everybody. My name is Mackenzie Wilson. My pronouns are they, them. And I'm a community organizer here in Sacramento, California. I'm sending you this message in hopes that you'll join me in an amazing panel of revolutionaries on October 22nd as we discuss the upcoming life and death battles in November's elections. If you need more information, you can find that at lerna.org. That's L-R-N-A dot And you can find it under the event page called Progressive Tidal Wave. Don't forget to hit that red button to register. And I hope to see you soon. My name is Kenneth Mejia, and I'm running for Los Angeles City Controller. I was born in LA and raised in Silmar in the San Fernando Valley. I grew up in a working class immigrant single mother household. I am a housing activist, a former neighborhood council board member, and a certified public accountant with over 10 years of auditing and accounting experience. Hello, I'm Michael down in Kentucky, uh, and I've been reaching out to voters in our state to talk about voting no on a proposed anti-abortion constitutional amendment that's going to be on our ballot on November 8th. I think it's important to, to do this because obviously um, our healthcare needs, um, our, our daily needs like food on the table and, and a roof over our heads um, are everything. And the ruling class is pushing really hard to take those things away from us. So in this moment, this is an opportunity for us to talk to other working class folks uh, to get in the game. I'm Angelica Duenas. I'm running for Congress in the East San Fernando Valley in California's 29th Congressional District. Here is where my parents immigrated to and raised their family. Here is where I went to school. Here is where my friends and family live and work. Here is where I was born. Here is all I know. I'm a working mother raising my family here. Over the past 30 years, I've witnessed my community struggle to get ahead. My neighbors and I have been living paycheck to paycheck. Many of us are struggling with the lack of affordable housing, a lack of good paying jobs, no health care and pollution from dirty industries. Where is the working class representation in Congress?